piety, right, of the so-called Russian today, right, or Ukrainian, the, le the list goes on. He said, ye shall eat the flesh of the mighty and drink the blood of the princes of the earth, man. You see, here we go, man. These beasts, these birds, these ravenous animal birds, beasts, all, they're going to come and eat, man. They're going to eat, right? He said, of rams and lambs. Now, when you read the word rams, you think he's really talking about rams? No, man. He's talking about wicked men and women. Wicked men and women. Those are the rams, the lambs, right? Right? And of goats and bullock, all of them fatling of Bashan. So keep in mind. It's not literally talking about you thinking about where well, the Mosai just said they're gonna eat some lamb, some goats, some no. He's talking about wicked men and women. This beast, this beast, like I said, man, there's some of these beasts that are hidden. Some are in the water, the other one is under the ground. When the time is up, the Mosai bring them up. They're gonna eat. <sighs> Watch, he said, and ye shall eat fat till ye be full, and drink blood till ye be drunken of my sacrifice, which I've sacrificed for you. Thus you shall be filled at my table with horses. You see, they're going to eat horses too. You see, right? Thus you shall be filled at my table with horses and chariots, with mighty men and with all men of war. Because they come in to do what the Moses said, I'm going to give you over to this beast, man. Lion, hippo, elephant, okay, leopard, you know, uh, uh, tigers. And the list goes on and on and on, man. Hyenas, wild dogs, coyote or coyote, whatever you name it, man. <clears throat> he said, well, thus ye shall be filled at my table with horses and chariots, with mighty men and with all men of war, said the Lord Yahweh. And I will set my glory among the heathen. When the Mosai does that, they, the heathen, they don't know the power of the Mosai. Right? And I will set my glory among the hidden, and all the hidden shall see my judgment that I have executed, and my hand that I have laid upon them. Verses 22. So the house of Israel shall know that I am the Lord, the Yahweh, from that day and forward. You see, that's how you know that Ezekiel 38 and 39 are specifically talking about totally the latter, latter, latter prophecy. The Moses said once he bring the children of God, may God to bad Meshach against us and done whatever he got to do, the judgment, then our eyes, a lot of our people, they don't realize that the Mosai is not to play game with it. Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh is not to play game with it. Can you do that? Right? He say, so the house of Israel shall know that I am the Lord, the, the Yahweh, from that day and forward. Right now, we don't know yet because we don't see the, the head of the Mosa on the earth yet. We see, but it's, it's not that deep yet. It's not heavy yet. It's lightened right now. When it goes deeper, then brothers start seeking for the Mosa. And the heathen shall know that the house of Israel went into captivity for the iniquity. So they will understand. These heathen, some of them that will be left, they will say that, yeah, well, the reason why they went into captivity is because of their sin. And that's what we tell you. Some of y'all think because... Yahweh Shia Mashiach died, then we ain't got to go to captivity. No, you don't understand the Bible, okay? You don't understand the Bible, all right? All right? That's Christianity. Christianity make you believe that way because Jesus Christ just died because Yahweh Shia Mashiach died, then everything will be fine because he, he just died. You're going to have a good life. You're going to be rich. You're going to make money, blah, blah, blah. That's Christianity. It's not in the Bible. You can't find it in the Bible. Man. It's not in the Bible. It's not in the Bible, okay? Prophecy being written put down before the coming of our Lord and Savior, Yahushua Mashiach. And Amashiach said, think not that I come to destroy the law or the prophet. He told you, Matthew 5, 17 through 20. He said, don't even put that in your dirty mind. But still, you got that mindset of Christianity. Like right now, as I'm speaking, a lot of you are people, they're in the Christian church, they're, they're in the call right now, singing, hallelujah, hallelujah, and they're all going crazy, losing their mind, yeah, 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 and making all the... Guess what? They don't read the Bible, they don't study the Bible, and they don't understand the Bible. They don't, they don't understand. Right? They do not understand the Bible. They don't. They don't understand the Bible. Just Christianity. Right? You see, right? Because you got to keep in mind, this Bible, you can't just say you believe in the New Testament. That means you don't believe in the Mosai. You don't believe in the Mosai. This prophecy I, I, I've, I've touched on right now, Ezekiel 38 and Ezekiel 39 has not been fulfilled yet. And you to tell me that, oh, well, that's the Old Testament. We ain't got to do it. Well, the Lord done away with We ain't got to keep the Shabbat. Who told you that? Who told you we ain't got to keep the Shabbat? That's Satan, man. Satan deceive you, telling you that you ain't got to get, guess what, guess what, I'm going to tell you something, guess what, 
If you don't want to keep the commandment written in this Bible, then don't talk about the Mosai. Don't talk about Jesus Christ. Don't use the name of Yahushua. If you don't want to keep the commandment, don't do it, please. Please, you got to leave his name, the name of the Mosai, the name of the Holy Spirit out of your mouth. Don't waste your time because you don't want to obey this book. Until you fully want to obey this book, then you can claim it, open your mouth and talk about, you know the Mosai, you know Amashiach, you know Yeshua, you know Yahushua, you know blah, blah, blah. Guess what? But until you do that, you don't know the Mosai. No, man. That's hypocrisy. Right? Don't be hypocrite. All right? If you want to serve the Mosai, serve the Mosai. Amashiach say, if you love me, keep my commandment. That's very simple. If you love me, keep the commandment. You don't want to keep the commandment. You don't believe in the prophecy. All of a sudden, you only believe, you only believe in the New Testament. What are you talking about, man? What are you talking about? Right? He say, and the heathen shall know that the house of Israel went into captivity for the iniquity, for the iniquity because of what? Our sins. Okay? Right? Because they trespassed against me. What did we do against the Most High? We sinned against the Most High. We sinned against the Most High. Since the time of who? Moses. Since the time of Moses until this very last day. We sin more and more every day as a nation. We've done evil. That's what we got to address as a nation. The so-called blacks are telling you a woman. Drop your paint. Go get it for yourself. Long dresses and cover your behind. Protect your body. Your body is the temple of the Most High. You got to stop eating pork. You so-called black satin and native You got to stop eating pork. Shrimp. These are sea roaches. Okay. These are abominable for their disgusting. They are abominable. We used to eat it blindly before. But once the Most High wake us up and teach us the way that we got to go, we got to live, we stop it. Lord, we be born again. We be born again. So you got to make sure you're keeping the commandment, right? You got to make sure you're keeping the Shabbat. You got to talk to your boss or your manager. You got to let them know, right? You got to high hold feast. The Passover is coming. If you don't want to celebrate the Passover, guess what? Don't talk about the Bible, buddy. You want to celebrate your bunny Easter? You want to celebrate your pagan Easter? That's not in the Bible. Because you read the word Easter in the Bible one time or two times, they, they put it down on purpose. They put it down on purpose. The word was not Easter. is a Passover. Pass over the most I pass over the land of Egypt to cut off the, all the firstborn beasts and men. Keep in mind, all right? Don't get it twisted. Don't think like, what? Oh, no, you can't just say, Well, I know the Lord, but I don't celebrate the Passover. Yeah, I believe in Jesus, but I don't keep the Shabbat. No, that means you don't believe in Jesus. You don't know Him. You don't know Him. You're wasting your time. You will say, How can you say that you know somebody, but you don't do what the person tells you to do, man? He, what did he say? He said, I came. In the volume of the book. That's what Amashiach said. So the whole book is about Amashiach. From Genesis all the way down to the book of what? Revelation and Apocalypse is all about Amashiach. May you to tell me where, you know, I believe in God, but, you know, we ain't got to keep the Shabbat. The Lord done away with it. Jesus said, Paul said, we ain't got to do it. Paul said, we ain't got to keep the name. Guess what? You got deceived, man. Your mind deceived you. You're proud. You're being proud. You don't want to subdue the lie. The weakness that you were taught by your father, your mother, the institution, whatever you went to, the school, whatever you... You don't want to put it down. You still want to be proud. You want to be proud before the Mosai, before the Holy Spirit. You want to resist the Holy Spirit. You want to play the boss. Ah, yeah, I know this. No, man. Cut it loose, man. You don't know the Mosai. You got to do what the Bible said to do. You got to do it. You got to do it. If you don't do it, you can't have no life. There won't be no salvation. Then you'll be the fire. The fire, you'll be part of the fire. You want to be the part of the fire? It's up to you, buddy. It's up to you. You want to be part of the fire? Hey, you, you, pick, you pick and choose. But we want you, man. We want you. Beloved brother, brethren, please repent and keep the commandment. Repent and keep the commandment. Repent and keep the commandment. We want brothers and sisters to try to fuck already. So we want you, man. Right? You are without excuse. He said, because they trespass against me, therefore, here I am my face from them. So right now, the Most High is hitting his face again. Sometimes we pray at the Most High, he won't answer. Right? The most I won't answer, right? Because we sin and miss of sin, man. Not because the brother sin necessarily, not be, no, but the most I doing that so that more affliction coming upon us, we will grow up more spiritually. We will get more stronger in the spirit. We will be more mighty in the Lord, right? Keep in mind. And get them into the hand of the enemies. What did the most I say? The most I I gave them into the hand of the enemies, man. So fell they all by the sword. Isaiah 59 and 2. Isaiah 59 and 2. Let's go to it, right? Isaiah 59 and 2. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 59 and verses 2. This is the book of Isaiah 59. Last prophecy still, right? This is a 
or the book of Isaiah, chapter 59, and verses 1 through 2. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened. The hand of the Moses is not shortened, eh? that he cannot save. Neither his ear heavy that he cannot hear. The ear of the Moses are not heavy because the Moses is not an idol. No. Right? He said, but your iniquity have separated between you and your Yahweh. It's because of our sin that we've been separated from the Most High because of our iniquity, our weakness, our wrongdoing, man. Right? Blood, shedding blood in it, adultery, right? Uh, 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 killing baby in the womb, right? Right? Lying, stealing, you know, robbing, you know, breaking the Shabbat, celebrating pagan folly day, and the list goes on and on. Worshipping men and women, idol in your house. Man, come on, bro. He said, by your iniquity, our iniquity, our sin, have separated between you and your Yahweh. And your sin have hid his face, his face from you, that he will not hear. And that's what is going on. Right? So we got to keep in mind, as long as we continue to sin against the Most High, the Most High, he, he will not help us. Right? According to the uncleanness and according to the book of Ezekiel 39 and 24, according to the uncleanness, right? Brother eating shrimp, pork, catfish, all these abominable food the Moses say don't eat. People want to eat donkey meat, people want to eat camel meat, all type of nasty things. People want to eat snail, they want to eat rabbit, people want to eat a uh, 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 frog. No, man, that's 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 madness, that's foolish, and that's abominable. Right? He said, according to the uncleanness and according to the transgression, have I done unto them and hid my face from them. Right? The most I hid his face from us. Therefore, that said the Lord, Yahweh, now I will bring again the captivity of Jacob. The most I said, he's about to bring our captivity back as he has done it in the time of Moses. Right? In the time of Jeremiah. In the time of the Maccabees. And the list goes on and on. But mainly he's talking about like in the time of war. Egypt in the time of Moses, when the Mosai brought us into the land, where we will be set up back in the land, fully living at peace. Right? He said, Therefore, that said the Lord Yahweh, now will I bring again the captivity of Jacob and have mercy upon the whole house of Israel and will be jealous for my holy name. Ezekiel 34 and 13. 34. Ezekiel 34. In 13, this is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 34, and verse 13. And I'll bring them out from the people. Who? Who is the them? The so-called blacks, Latino, and Native, and African American. And I'll bring them out from the people and gather them from the countries and will bring them to their own land and feed them upon the mountains of Israel by the river and in all the inhabited places of the country. Right? Let's go back to Ezekiel 39. Ezekiel 39. And verse 26. After that, they have borne the shame. Right? We have borne our shame, man. Eh? We've been called type of name blacks, Latino, Hispanic, Native Indian. We've been called like, you know, what a what a eater, chicken eater. They call all type of things, man. All type of pie word. They, we born our shame, man. Eh? Right? That means we pay for whatever we've done. And all the trespasses whereby they have trespassed against me when they dwell safely in the land. And none made them afraid, right? When I brought them again from the people and gathered them out of the enemy's land, the Moses is about to do it. The Moses is about to stretch forth his hand a certain time to gather the remnant, the elect of the Israelite, of the so-called black Satino and Native and scattered throughout the foreground. The Moses is about to stretch out his hand, his mighty hand, to deliver the Israelite from the foreground of this earth. That's what we hope for. That's what we're waiting upon. That's what we believe in. All right? Let's continue. He said, Then, he said, When I brought them again from the people and gathered them out of the enemy's land, and I'm sanctifying them in the sight of many nations, in the sight of many nations, then shall they know that I am the Lord, the Yahweh, which caused them to be led into captivity. See, until right now, a lot of people still don't believe it. They're still doubting. Even though we break it down, Deuteronomy 28, we go to Leviticus chapter 26, you go to uh, 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 all the precepts, you go to Luke 21, you go to Matthew, whatever you know, regardless, still, they don't believe it. You go to Baruch chapter 3. We are this day yet in our captivity. Right? You still, you, it doesn't, they still don't believe it. They don't believe it. 
Right? But the Moses, let's read the Moses. Say, then shall they know that I am the Lord, the Yahweh, which caused them to be led into captivity among the heathen. Right? Among the hidden, right? Among the hidden, okay? Among the hidden, okay? He said, but I have gathered them unto their own land, Jerusalem, Zion, and have left none of them anymore there. So the most I say, I will deliver my people, my children, all right? Neither will I hide my face anymore from them. For I have poured out my spirit upon the house of Israel, said the Lord Yahweh. Amen. Hallelujah. So, you know, that's what we want to touch on. And that's the end of the book of uh, Ezekiel, right? So, through the spirit of the Moses, I was able to address Ezekiel chapter 38 and Ezekiel chapter 39. We cover both chapters fully. Lord willing, I'll be able to post it on YouTube, right? So, I just got to do the other, the other, uh, 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 the chapter 39 in French. I got to cover in French. I already cover. In chapter 38, yesterday, Lord willing, maybe today I'll be able to do it. If the most allow me to, I'll be able to do it. Or it will be maybe tomorrow or another day. However, after that, my